Martian Man TV, how everybody doing? Y'all welcome man to another banger. We're gonna step into this one. This right now, as of yet, is the diss track of the year. And it's coming from Chris Brown, aka Chris Breezy. Breezy diss and Quavo and Weakest Link. And then Quavo got his comeback with Tinder. But uh, from what I'm seeing, Chris Brown, <laughs> my bad, y'all. Chris Brown, Weakest Link, is murdering Quavo response. Like, Chris Brown kind of murdered Quavo with this one, y'all. The Weakest Link. Basically, what it all come down to, once again, I hate to say it, females. That be like dude's biggest little downfall. Uh, it basically be that, yo. Yeah. It be coming down to that. The female situation. So, for what I'm thinking, man, Chris been holding this in for a while. Like, ain't no way he just gonna come out with this diss track. Which is beautiful because it's 420, everybody. Happy holiday. Happy 420 for everybody. But it's perfect. He came out with a diss track on 420. First, first artist to do that, I believe. Not on a no rap tip. But this is a nice whoever wrote this for Chris for the Breezy. It's fire. I I like it. I like it. He go in about him, you know. Still smashing on Sweetie while Sweetie allegedly was with Quavo. Uh, said he dripped in all blood, all red. You know, Chris Breezy allegedly of blood. <laughs> it's hilarious, you know. He said, don't let that R&B stuff fool him. You know, he be, he be with the steppers. So, you know... We got Quavo on Instagram live listening to the diss track. And I'm loving it. Like, it's not as personal, like, on the level, like, maybe the um, the Biggie and Pac situation where it's spilled out into reality. This more so, I believe, is uh, who going who gonna to be a better MC? And Chris Brown right now, he... He murdered it. He killed it. I can't deny it or take it away from him because it's Chris Brown or because he an R&B guy. He viciously murdered Quavo with this track to the point people saying they got to fight. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, especially what he said at the end about people wanted it to be Quavo instead of Takeoff to be dead. So it's like, y'all, I'm not supporting him fighting or getting violent. I like it if it's just a, a verbal assault and it's, you know, that hip-hop competition type of thing where it don't spill over and, you know, get get into no physicalities. Uh, we all know that uh, <laughs> this been brewing for a while back to when they had Chris Brown and Quavo sitting together at the award show and Chris Brown and Quavo keeping their composure for the bag, so... Even now, I'm saying keep the composure going. Because I don't like that narrative either that dudes will play the role to get the bag. But, I mean, you still being programmed, bro. You still allowing um, the elites to control the narrative, basically. You can't have the elites controlling the narrative. So, in the song, Chris said he been one to, you know, get at Quavo, but the powers that be because of the bag kept them from entertaining that. So, it's like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be a yes man for the bag. And then, you know, I don't like that. 
You know what I'm saying? If we going to be hood, we going to be hood all the way. We can't do half and half, man. Only time I do it that way is to stay out of jail, stay out of prison. Who want to go to prison or who want to go to jail for some street beef? Well, because me and you got issues or problems with each other. I want to get away. You feel me? We can handle our business. We can fight. We can do whatever. But I got to get away. I'm not going to jail behind it. And I get it. I'm not messing up my money or my livelihood for it. But I'm saying, you know what I mean? That's why I'm saying I think this beef between Chris and Quavo is really not all that serious. Now, Breezy attacked him with the verbal. He came, he came with that. He, he came with that step ready verbal assault. I'm, I'm loving it. I heard the whole song. That song is great. Weakest Link is right to the point. Quavo, you are the weakest link as far as the Amigos go. You sell records and you a good rapper, but you was the weakest link out of the Amigos. So it makes sense. But Breezy was on your boots. Straps, heels, back of your uh your Nike sign, your your what? Whatever you wearing. That that Louis, he's stepping all on that. That Gucci, he's stepping all on that. So, shots out to Chris Breezy, Chris Brown. Shots out to Quavo, the Migos. Shots out for y'all. Um, if y'all behind the scenes laughing about this, Quavo, you got to respond, which you did respond with Tinder. But it don't hit me the way the weakest link hit me. That's just my opinion. Everybody entitled to their opinion. But weakest link, it just... Is just at you right there on the spot. Come on with that to uh, the cats that don't know. That's pretty Tony <laughs> from the Mac movie. That you know the opening Bob that Chris Brown using. That's pretty Tony from the Mac man. And then he just go into it. I don't want no. I don't want no problems with you, Chris. That's hilarious, man. So. You know, Breezy reached out, you know what I'm talking about, to his his inner battle rap, inner battle rapper paralysis. I like it. I, know, I like it, man. They underestimated Breezy. I don't know, maybe because he light skin. I don't know, maybe because he a dancing R&B dude. But, you know, Breezy came with them bars. Like I said, whoever wrote that, a ghostwriter for him. Salute you, shots out to you too, and Breezy for being able to spit it out. So it's one thing, y'all, I mean, as an artist, for people to write for you, right? That's one thing. But then you got to be able to spit it out or make it sound a certain kind of way. So I'm giving Chris Brown his, his due diligence on that. How he spit that thunder. I don't care if he didn't write The Weakest Link. He spit it like he, he wrote that. You know what I'm talking about? He spit that like that was all him. Like that was his inner thoughts. From him mentioning Saweetie and Car Carucci. Is that how you say her name? Y'all, if I'm saying her name wrong, y'all forgive me. But, you know, that's his baby mama. He blamed Quavo for the restraining order. Certain things that went on between them at the time because Quavo was dating Carucci. And I believe Chris Brown was trying to get back with Carucci. You know, that's his baby mama. So I don't know, man. Chris Brown say uh, Quavo was pillow talking. You know, like I said, it all come down to this female. Females in general. And, you know, I'm not saying that Chris Brown got to be a player or Quavo got to be a player. I'm just saying, you, we talking about Saweetie, man. We talking about Carucci, you know, like, that's your baby mama. She chose not to mess with you for whatever reasons. So I'm saying, Chris, you know. They saying you got a history of being abusive and aggressive towards females. From Rihanna to Carucci. So, I mean, 
It sound good in the song. You know what I mean? That's the that's the kicker to me. These is two guys allegedly accused of being disrespectful to women, right? Putting their hands on women, right? Being simps. Now, both of the simps into it behind females? So it's like y'all both attacking each other about the clown stuff y'all did? It's like, you know, make it make sense. We're trying to make it make sense. So if we going off that, neither Chris Brown or Quavo in position to throw shots at each other about females when they both got these type of issues with them. And it's not just one situation. That's what's the kicker. It's a couple situations where Quavo and Chris Brown mishandle situations with the ladies. So that's what we talking about. But they both could go on record and diss each other and say which one of them is more, I guess, the bigger dirtbag. I guess if you want to if you want to look at it like that. But overall, y'all, Weakest Link is banging. I'm saying that's the diss song of the year. For 2024, somebody's going to have to come with some extreme heat to knock Breezy out with this one. Like everything was on point. He got right at Quavo, and it was relevant. Like I said, it was some old, old school hip hop battle and swag with it. That Nas Ether, that 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 Pac hit him up swag. That Cube, no Vaseline energy. You know what I'm talking about? So we're gonna see y'all what happened with this one. Like I said, I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned in to Martian Man TV, and I'll be back. I will be back.com. Much love.